Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, a real-life pharmacist offering real-life solutions. I'm also the author of The 24-Hour Pharmacist. And today we're going to talk about one of my pet peeves, cholesterol, statin drugs, in CoQ10. I'll tell you the connection in just a minute. Let me read you this letter from Dee. She writes, Hi Susie, I saw you on Know the Cause TV. Enjoyed it very much. My husband takes a statin cholesterol lowering medication and he's taken it for years. Last year he noticed arm pain and his hand began shaking. When we asked the doctor about it, he gave him a cortisone shot. And when I approached the doctor about coenzyme Q10, he said no because he hadn't read any double blind placebo controlled studies on it. But we tried it anyway. And now his arm pain is gone and so is the shaking. D, I'm so glad you wrote to me because like I said, this has been an issue for me for many years and I've been hammering it in the press. I really want everyone to know that if you take a cholesterol lowering drug, a statin drug such as Lipitor, Zocor, Mevacor, Crestor, Pravacol, Vitorin, any one of these drugs, they can all deplete your body's stores of coenzyme Q10. Well, what does that mean to you? It means you might feel tired or short of breath. You may get muscle aches and spasms and leg cramps. You might even get cardiac problems like um, arrhythmias because a depletion of CoQ10 could lead to heart disease, congestive heart failure, and heart attack. And those symptoms start with uh, fluid retention in the hands and feet. So look out for those symptoms. And if you do take a statin drug, consider supplementation with CoQ10. Actually, don't consider it. Do it. Because it could save your life and certainly make you feel better. And you can find Coenzyme Q10 in many different brands nationwide, um, pharmacies and health food stores. I would stick to a dosage of about 50 to 150 milligrams once or twice a day with food. And there's your tip. If you like this one, join me again for another cool tip. Take care.